what's up you guys it's your girl michelle back with another video and we are doing a story time today because let me tell you why i was at the store today and of course i had my mask on and all that and i seen this couple and how they was acting it kind of prompted me it reminded me of this story of this one time something happened so i was like oh i need to do a story time about that so before we get started make sure you like subscribe and comment down below and let's get into it Nolan is listening right now and that's perfect because he's in this story so what better time to tell y'all this story so let me let me tell you what happened so first of all this is for the wives I speak to the wives because I am a wife of almost 10 years so wives fiancés, girlfriends, all of that jazz. If you are the significant other to someone else, then you are gonna know exactly what I mean by this when I tell you the story. Okay, so let me tell you the story. There was this girl, right? And I don't even know how this came about, but I knew she had googly eyes for no one, right? And I think we was at like my sister's where were we at graduation party maybe uh was it her graduation party you know what story i'm going with this one <sighs> okay so i don't know if it was my sister um, in law's graduation party or whatever but the girl was there and she was like a friend of my mother-in-law's and she <laughs> i don't even remember how this happened but what it happened was she had like my husband had took pictures of my mom and this girl right and you still don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> he had took pictures and he said he was going to send them to my mom my mother-in-law so she could send them to her so the girl i'm like you know enjoying myself we are hey party we celebrating and all that jazz and then my wife radar was like do, 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 do. look over there at your husband i was like mm, interesting what is she doing she was like um all up in his face like he had his phone like this like he had his phone like this and she was like pointing like she was trying to show him something on his phone and i was like <laughs> let me just slide on over there real quick and see what's going on because it just did not look right now not that i don't trust my husband let me say that i fully trust him but what i don't trust is the girls sometimes have googly eyes so what i did and i say this to any wife girlfriend fiance this is what you have to do you have to slide on over there insert yourself um and I may have had a look on my face like, how can we help you? And she was like, uh, uh, don't, girl, I'm not, what'd she say? What'd she say, Nolan? Ain't nothing going on. She was like, oh, ain't nothing going on. I was like, clearly, I know. And she was like, um, I don't know what she said. She was like pretty much trying to get Nolan to send her these pictures. So he played it off. Cause he already knew he already peeped game from the beginning because she had tried it like days before so he had played it off like oh ain't no reception it really wasn't no reception in there but it ain't no reception type of thing and he never did send her the pictures he sent them to his mom but she was like she clearly knew when i slid over there what exactly i was sliding over there for just to make sure you understand she said oh that's what she was like she was like ain't nothing going on wifey i was like mm, i <laughs> you ain't telling me nothing i know that's why i slid over here to let you know ain't nothing going on and sometimes you have to do that when you're a wife a significant other sometimes you have to insert yourself just to let it be known again that this ain't what you want boo ain't that right Nolan? it would have been different or something like that approach would be perfect 
if she was even the slightest bit attractive or something. No, whether she's ugly, that, I mean, that, unattractive or not, she, like, they need to know, like, again, this ain't what you want, boo. So that's how I feel about it. But I was at the store and a girl, she kind of like seen this woman looking at her um, dude. And so she kind of like pulled him in closer and kind of gave her like a cold shoulder. And I laughed so hard when I seen that because I was like, girl, I feel you like... <laughs> Sometimes you just got to let them know. And that's what prompted this story time. So y'all let me know. If you're a wife, a fiance, a girlfriend, or whatever you are, let me know if you ever had to like insert yourself just to let it be known like who you are in your position and etc. Because I feel like it just comes with, you know, the, the territory. I feel like it just comes with it. Sometimes one time or another, you might have to check somebody. You might have to like insert yourself and let it be known. Or some some people have fought. I'm not fighting, but there's ways to insert yourself and let your point be made without doing all the extra. So y'all let me know in the comments down below. If y'all ever have to do that, would you have handled yourself in that manner? Like, would you have done what I did? Or would you have taken a different approach? No one says that had she been attractive, then that approach that I did would have been like cool, like understandable, but I just needed her to know that <laughs> she needed to try somebody else. It wasn't going to be him that day. So, that's my story time for y'all. It's real quick. You know, it wasn't no nothing long and extra with it. Anyways, that's my that's my story. That's my story time. Um, let me know how y'all would have handled that. Would y'all have handled it how I did or would it have been different? What would you have done? Hit me up. Let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, thank you for watching. I love y'all and peace. And just in case you're wondering, yes, these earrings are from Radiant Bling. Shout out to my sis, Radiant. Yes, Radiant Bling. Get you some so you can get yourself right. Bye.